Hello, welcome back to my channel. Hello, my viewers. Today we are talking about an um, interview by Channel Television asking Emma Powerful, the spokesman of IPOB, about the killing of uh, the ESN commander, Ikonso. So, for the first time, Channel Television has interviewed our spokesman, that is the spokesman of indigenous people of Biafra, Emma Powerful. This interview is important for the fact that Nandekano has said that a time will come they will be talking about IPOB and Biafra. So I would like you to listen to this interview, after which we, are, we will discuss about it know why channel television has taken this very step is it the right thing or not why are they doing that or interviewing ipov spokesperson right now why not before all this we are going to talk about in a short time first of all listen to the interview after which we we'll then continue with the main discussion. Things is about to happen and I believe that the journalists they are seeing it. So let's watch. Meanwhile, Apop has released a statement reacting to the arrest and death of one of theirs. We caught up with the spokesperson of the group Imar Powerful. And here is the telephone interview with him. What can you tell us about what happened yesterday? The arrest and the death of a member uh, of a leader of IPOP. They they lied to the public that they 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 approach they enter our camp. Nigerian army can never in their life enter ESN camp. That is a promise. They just the guy went to his village. They ambushed him there. That was all. Why did you say they can never enter your camp? They cannot because they don't have the way with that to enter there. They don't have the power. Do you, you I, do you mean that you have the firepower? God is on our side and God is protecting us. So what happened? How did you lose the member and uh, how many of your people have been arrested? They have arrested more than, since uh, in Imo they, 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 they arrested more than 50 people in Izumbe, in uh, Uguta. On Haji Ewema, LUGA, they have been arresting people, going to their houses and they arrest them. In Anambra, they arrested so many people. In Abia, they arrested so many people. And uh, yesterday on, the guy, the, our commander went to his village, he's from our mama. They ambushed him with his, some politicians, Opus and the coup. They ambushed him, ordered the, um, the military to kill him. That was what happened. You send a, a tacit threat to the governor of uh, Imo State. What he do you mean by that threat? A lot of, he knows Imo State, gov, Imo State administrator, Supreme Court administrator, knows very well that he committed a crime and we must follow him up. What crime did he commit? He ordered for the killing of this guy because he refused his offer. What offer is that? Come on. To come and hear the hear, uh, battle which the southeast governors uh, established when did he offer him but did he speak to him on the phone did he have a meeting he, with sent, him? he sent some people to meet him and what happened he refused or what what, what the, guy, the guy refused that he cannot betray biafra's agitation and the es and our leader Mazen and the Kano. since then they have been threatening him and so, um, when you now send this threat, what are, what do you plan to do? You don't you don't ask me what are my plans. We have plans, and we must we must uh, uh, execute it. That's all. I'm very sure you are aware that the federal government has prescribed your organization. So, why um, are they running from their courts to come and defend it? That is a black market prescription. 
you are not worried that you are described as terrorist. We are not terrorists. You know that. No, that's what you the federal that, government you calls you. You know that IPOB is not a, a, a terrorist. But that's what the federal government calls you. They, they call because they don't want to defend it. They want. They don't want us to defend the matter in the court. Every day, any court date, they run away. Don't you know that? So what are you? What are you planning to do now? We are planning to get Biafra. When are you planning to do that? God knows the time. Okay, so let me, because residents of Omuma, when we interviewed them yesterday, they said that the people that attacked the governor's house are members of ESN. What do you, what do you have to say to that? Anybody can say whatever he or she likes. It doesn't concern us. So, and that's the reason why I asked the question in the first place, that are your members or ESN, are they the ones who attacked the governor's house? Because those who saw it said your members were the ones who staged that attack. So some of the information that we have when we went on the ground and the pictures that we saw of the late uh, Ikonso commander that was killed yesterday by security operatives, they said they recovered several sophisticated weapons, including six AK-47 rifles, hundreds of ammunition of different calibers, and lots of charms, including bulletproof charms. How true is this? Can you, first, first of all, ESN don't use, we don't use army uniform, Nigerian army uniform. That is number one. Number two, they presented three AK-47 with one magazine. How can somebody use three AK magazine, AK-47 with one magazine? They presented 10, 10, 10 bullets while we have no uh, machine gun there. So these things, they are, they are liars. All those informations are false. They are not saying the truth because they don't want to tell the Nigerians, the citizens, the, the, the citizens that Nigeria is almost collapsing. And the IPOB have decided that nothing will stop them to back out on this course for their fire restoration. So other uh, tribes can work for their own. They can say whatever they like. We are intact. IPOB and ESN, we are intact. Another the, commander has taken over. What is the name of the commander? I won't tell you. If you say that uh, your intentions is for the Igbo nation. Um, we are not I, talking of, my, for, first of all, mind you, we are not talking of Igbo nation, we are talking of Biafra. Biafra comprises so many tribes, not only Igbo nation. We are not talking of Igbo nation, we are talking of Biafra. So what are your thoughts former about... Former Eastern region, former Eastern region, both South, South and Southeast. We are not talking of Igbo nation. But let me okay. ask you, uh, what are your thoughts on the establishment of Ebubeago? Ebubeago has is a ghost to security outfit, so we have nothing to do with them. <laughs> the, if uh, if there is no group called Ebubeago, that one is that name is from out. It's a, it's a ghost group. We have not seen them. Let them come out and do the funny things. We show them where they belong. Okay, so confirm to us, ESN is not behind the attack on the governor's house. I told you before, when you went to Abuma and interviewed people, did they tell you that those that came to attack in that very place mentioned ESN, and we are ESN, we are IPOB? You yes. Answer me up to now. They said so, yes. The people said they are ESN. Commun uh, members of the communities. Uh, Yes, they said. The the yes, they ESL, yes, they that's are, what they told us. Uh, uh, IPOB. Yes, that's what they told they us. Told you. Yes, they lied to you. They lied to you. They told us that, that, that that's what they confided in us that they are members of ESN. They are lying. So you are saying that ESN, ESN, ESN does not have a hand in it. ESN can never come on operation and tell you we are ESN. We can't do that. We know we know what we are doing. Okay. So what kind of operation does ESN do? We pursue flanning terrorists in our bushes and our forests. 
yes, that was the voice of Emma Powerful, the spokesman of IPOB. So, you see, like I said, why now? Because Channel Television is a national television which has been used by the federal government in opposing the ideology of indigenous people of Biafra. And what is the ideology? Self-determination. Nothing more, nothing less. So the government never wanted to talk about IPOB in national television, to use their national television to talk about IPOB. But now, it has just started. And a time will come, they will never one day make their program without talking about IPOB. A time will come, they will be looking for Nandekano to interview. Because it is getting clearer to the whole Nigerians, apart from the Fulani, the Caliphate, that want to overrun everybody, that what IPOB is fighting for is correct. Now, the Eastern Security Network, which IPOB formed, to protect our people against terrorists, Fulani terrorists, Hesman terrorists. This channel television has always been in forefront to disparage this very um, security outfit. They want to undermine what Nandekan has formed by promoting a bubago all the time, promoting a bubago. Unfortunately, no embargo is existing. And they have no option than to talk about Eastern Security Network. Now, a, a commander was killed by the Nigerian military. They, they have no option than to do what? Interview our sports, I mean, uh, IPOB spokesperson. Actually, that is what journalism is supposed to be. You hear from this side, you also from here from the other side, you make your investigation before you file your report. That is what it's supposed to be. And not just to act on what the government said. What the government said. What the government asked you to do. That is not how journalism is supposed to work. Now he's emphasizing that IPOB is a terrorist organization. If IPOB is a terrorist organization, now he's interviewing Emma Park with the spokesperson. Can he also interview Chicago. Can he interview Chicago, Chicago of um, Boko Haram? So the point is that he cannot, he can but he can call Emma Powerful because IPOB is not a terrorist organization. He knows that. They all know it. They just branded IPOB terrorists so that they, they will have the opportunity to be killing them the way they are doing. If IPOB is a terrorist organization, why did the other countries, Western world, welcome IPOB? That's IPOB in over 120 countries. Now, if IPOB is um, a terrorist organization, what about this UK that recently proved them wrong? That IPOB, they can give them asylum. Do you give a ter terrorist asylum? The answer is no. I think this very thing now is getting clearer to the journalists. They are now telling the Nigerian people or that uh, the government that the the proscription of IPOB or tagging them terrorist organization is no longer selling and they should think of alternative. That is exactly what is playing on now and again things are about to get worse. Things is about a lot of things is about to happen by killing the commander of uh, Eastern Security Network. There is a lot of expectation that things might get worse because Eastern Security Network will never keep quiet like that. They definitely they are going to avenge for their person being killed. You know, Eastern Security Network was meant to protect their people against his main attack. All these terrorists attacking them. Now, instead of the government to play with them or be in their side or support them, the government went after killing them and they know that these people are not going to take it easy.
they are definitely going to revenge. And that is why the channel television want to know what they really plan to do next. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. See you next time.